Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So I wanted to give you a little bit of a reading for October since I'm just ridiculously swamped with personal readings. And um, a couple of things I just want to say before I start while I shuffle. Okay, for those of you who are waiting for your readings, I am very sorry that they are so behind. Um, I feel like honestly with the um, growth of my channel, I have underestimated myself and I felt like I could keep up with them and get them in on time, but it's extremely difficult to do 10 readings a day emotionally and physically. It really drains me and I find sometimes when I'm doing reading after reading in a row, the energy from the last reading pours into the next and it's really just overwhelming for me and I have to take breaks. So I know that a lot of you are waiting for readings and if you cannot wait any longer, I fully understand and I will take responsibility for sending you a refund if you would like one. Um, I, I do have you in queue and you will receive it. If you're willing to continue to wait, thank you. Um, if not, simply shoot an email to me at moonpietarot at gmail.com. The link is below in the description box. And you can just message me and I'll send your refund to you. Um, if you're waiting for, if, if you need a reading immediately, um, you can request the 24-hour reading and I will push that through as fast as I can course within 24 hours the other readings will take much longer now when I first started my channel I was doing like I had them in like three days two days and now I'm up to like several weeks and um, so I have to really reorganize my calendar to try to get your readings to you okay enough about that now um, this reading that I'm doing here is not a tarot card reading this is as you can see by the box on the right top corner there, Gypsy Witch. It's a fortune telling reading. So it's a prediction reading. So it's not connected to the tarot in the sense of the psychology aspects of the tarot. Okay, this is based on predictions for you for October. Okay, and the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna start with the females first. If you're listening to this and any of this resonates for you, whatever predictions come out, then that is for you. It's not sign based. Okay, so I, I'm only uploading this one video. Um, so for, if you're a female listening, it will pick up on the energies. I may see a sign, an astrological sign in the cards. If I do, I'll say it. If not, then it would just be have to do with what your current energy is and the person you're dealing with okay if love shows up i will also touch on other aspects okay so let's get started the significator card for you females is this here give me just one second And just remember, I'm uploading this video on September 19th, 19th or 20th, depending on how long it takes. And I will be um, counting this time period through October as these energies could be playing out then, okay? Okay, so we're starting with the bear, the rod, the ship, wine, ooh la la, the key, the snake. So this is kind of like Lenormand reading. The lilies, stork. Okay, the stork. All right, give me a second here so I can look at the cards. All 
Okay, so there is an energy here playing out with these cards. I'm seeing a family quarrel in October or now until October. Um, possibly with a male uh, fire sign. And I'm just throwing that out there, but don't, you know, stick with it. If it resonates, it does not. It's just um, this person I feel is, well, bearish if I had to describe them. They're kind of big and strong. Um, it, they're, they're the kind of person that they're just so comfy when you're with them and you want to pet them and hug them, but they they're, can be equally as dangerous. So um, the bear card is a sign of successful speculations. Okay, so that kind of just resonates in the sense that there is someone who is thinking things in your family that these are things that are not exactly true. They're, again, speculating, and they don't hold any weight. And that is what this arguments, these arguments are going to be about. Okay, there's communication, and it's this one person in particular in your family. Now, this could be family through marriage, it could be your partner, um, or another person that's connected to your family. There's someone who I feel they are a bit suspicious. They are kind of um, boorish in a way, you know, they're, they're, they're not like, I don't feel like this is someone who is like a sharpshooter. This kind this person's a bit more relaxed, but they they kind of sit back and they speculate, but they believe that the things that they think or the things that they know or that they think they know, these are um they'll be successful in making stating their case in a family situation, okay? Um but yes, definitely feeling that energy playing out. You'll also have the ship here. And so this family quarrel could have something to do with uh, money, um, an inheritance, wealth, or a business. Could also have something to do with a trip that someone is taking, or a cruise, or travel. So I'm seeing there is a trip that will be happening in October or a presumed trip. And there's arguing about this, whether this is a, this is more of a trip by water. I mean, you could be traveling by land and going on a boat in water somewhere. It doesn't have to be across the ocean, um, but there's some type of, um, dismay coming from this particular person. Okay, there could be someone needs to travel somewhere to deal with a inheritance or a wealth situation. This could also be an argument about a work situation that someone is traveling a lot. Or, uh, you know, it could be you it could be another person definitely watch out for um, trouble arguments with family members or people who are close to you. Doesn't have to be blood, you know, of course, but just family. Now, I also feel like this voyage or this trip or whichever it may be, it will also be celebratory as well because the, the wine card is here and that's the symbol of cheerfulness and gaiety. So this happiness and celebration and having fun. And perhaps someone, even if it is a work trip, there is, I feel like this, whoever that person is, is speculating that you're not going or someone is not going on a trip just for work. They're going to have fun. And there's arguments about this as well. I 
don't really feel like they're being all that, you know, they're just, they're making assumptions. And I really just feel <laughs> actually that the trip is, um, it's going to be fun. It's, it's, you want to have fun or the, the, this other person, you know, this is you. So this is surrounding you. What's, you know, actually influencing you in your life. And I feel like, um, you know, you want to have fun. You're going to be drinking. Even for some of you who don't drink, um, there will be a cheerful, you may be in a place where there's wine being served. Uh, even if there's a cruise involved, there may be um, money that comes into your family situation where, you know, there's a desire to now take a trip with this money and go and have fun. But I, somebody's not very happy about this. You also have the key here. And I feel it's kind of strange with wine and the key. I feel like you guys really need to relax. The energy is really calling for you. If you're going on some type of a trip, this is what you need. This is the key to making some kind of change. You need to get away from someone or a situation or a family situation that is causing disruption. I'm not saying you need to go out and like get drunk every single night. I'm just saying you need to get away. You need to travel somewhere and go enjoy yourself in October. And I'm also seeing like, I don't know, the word blood was coming to me and I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe some of you are going somewhere where there's like, I don't know, a Halloween party or something. I mean, this is October and, you know, there could be that energy where there's drinking and having fun. There could be a party on a boat. This key is interesting to me because this key is a measure of success. A key is symbolic to you for some reason. You may be getting a key to a home or a key to unlock something, or you may be finding a key turning a key symbolically. The rider. So there's good news, a message. Somebody's giving you a key to something in October. But then you also have the snake here. And the snake, watch out for this energy. There's temptation. This key definitely is going to unlock something that maybe has been forbidden or something that you may not have been, have that you may not have had access to or that you shouldn't have access to. And I, I can tell you the rider usually is a card about someone who brings good news, but because it's alongside the 13 card here, this would not be good news. It comes across and it looks like it's good, but it's not. It's sneaky 
temptation energy. It's temp tempting energy that plays out here. So you want to be careful also about anyone who comes forward in your life that, that you know, offers you a key for something. It could be anything that you can think of. And it can be symbolic or someone, you know, comes forward and says that you, they, you can trust them. But next to the snake, no. You can't. This could be someone younger who, um, this could be a knight. You know, that's what the rider is. A knight of swords. I'm sorry, a knight of pentacles, earth energy. Um, you just want to be careful about what this person says, especially if you are in a situation where you are drinking or having fun and you, you get a little bit, um, a lack of cognizance about what you're doing or where you are, just be very careful with this person coming through. The snake and the lilies together The lilies forecast a happy life. You know, the snake too, I was feeling, um, in Chinese astrology, the snake would represent the year of the snake. And I can't remember let me think 1978 person born in 1978 um a person born in 1990 um 2012 and i think 2024 and we're a little bit off from that. So so this could be someone who was born in 1978 or 1990. That's really what what I was picking up. There's also someone in your family who maybe that age who um is causing problems in the family as well. They have some very sneaky energy and they also come across as being something and then they shed their skin and then there's something else and they kind of slither around under um, underground. You don't really see them. You don't, you know, they kind of hide a lot. So you want to be careful of who this person is because they can cause disruption in the family. There is the stork here. So there is also um, a change in your residence happening in October. And it's going to be for the better and it's going to be soon. Also, yeah, too, I was feeling this could be a family member that you have to be careful with, too. They give you a key to something, but you should not have this. This is not something that will be, you know, it's usually a sign of success, but as I was saying, mm, you're receiving it from someone who's tricky or trying to trick you into something, so be careful. The stork can also represent birth, and there could be a new addition to a family. And with the bear here, this could be someone who is speculating that there could be pregnancy either with you or they're they're speculating this and and they're right even though they may not know this does cause some uh, quarrels in a family some issues in a family there could be a suspected pregnancy by someone outside of the family who 
<laughs> you know, this key can be symbolic for a phallus symbol too. So there could be, um, you know, pregnancy that happens outside of a marriage or pregnancy that, you know, it happens to you or um, <clears throat> somebody in outside of you, it doesn't happen to you, but somebody outside of you, um, there's pregnancy with someone who's very sneaky or, um, you know, they tempt them and there's problems. And this person, whoever they are, I feel like they know they're aware, they speculate, they kind of saw it coming. And there's, I'm feeling a sense of that there's problems with this. <clears throat> because the rod is, you know, someone who holds that rod, like that it can be like the ace of rods, this would be more like, it's like one rod, it's male virility, it's, <laughs> you know, um, potential for the, this, this king is definitely speculating the potential for something like this to happen and it's causing problems. You might be accused of something as well. But either way, even if it's not pregnancy, there is going to be a change in this family situation too. There is going to be someone moving that's close to you. So I really think it's important that, um, well, it's not that I really think it's important. It's just that these are just predictions that are coming forward for me to you. You're in the middle here between this king and this jack with the key. The sun card signifies happiness and popularity. This person you're dealing with is well known as well up here. Whoever they are that's speculating, maybe suspicious, but they are right about what they're speculating in this context here. I almost feel like they're kind of like the know-it-all in this sense, the, the wise, they're wise beyond their years. And there could be a possibility um, of pregnancy while drinking. So you definitely want to watch out for that as well. Some of some of you are connected to someone that owns um, either a liquor store or a bar. You may work there also in a restaurant or something or serving wine. Um, <clears throat> some of you may work on a cruise too, but there's going to be a change in that. There's change happening with that situation. But I, so in, in its individuality, there is to break it down, there is someone here who is definitely <laughs> really seeing things as they truly are. They're speculating, they don't have proof, but they're seeing things as they, tru as they truly are. There's also family quarrels that are happening. There's a voyage or a trip and money coming in for you in October. There's much celebration also and drinking and having a good time. Um, and then this key is very symbolic. You have someone around you who is very sneaky. So be very careful with that person, the things that you share and what you say, they're very manipulative. I do see if a happy family life happening for you during this time and change of residence coming and moving. So leave me comments if any of that you if any of that might relate to you entirely or just in bits and pieces. And now I'm going to move on to the men and see what the energy is for the males. Mm. 
If you guys want to timestamp you, of course you can do that. I'll do it. It's only two things. <laughs> Okay, so here's the significator for the gentleman. This card represents the man whose fortune is being told. Mm, the coffin. Okay. The cat. The tower, the rod, wow, the stork shows up all the time. I know that's not for me. <laughs> Flowers, the moon, and wine again. Okay. Pregnancy and drinking or possible pregnancy when drinking be careful About that. Okay, so again here we have also the rod which predicts family quarrels So expect to be in the midst of some type of family argument in October family wherever you, whatever you consider family for you Okay, the stork also denotes there's going to be a change in your residence and it's going to be for the better, which is coming. And it will be soon. It could be in the month of October or at any time. Okay, so there's definitely going to be some quarrels about you moving somewhere or changing your residence. Um, but it seems to be a new beginning for you and it's an indication of a long and happy life, um, meaning that there is something coming towards you, this opportunity to move. Some of you may be wishing to relocate, move in with someone, move away from someone, um, upgrade where you live, relocate your uh, geographically where you are. There's great change when it comes to residence. Okay, also there's celebration here and fortune with the moon. This moon card always represents a good omen, but there are things that you should be careful not to tell people. Okay, there will be some secrets that you're gonna have to hold on to. Don't give out too much information I don't feel like you're in a situation of where there's a threat, but because there's family quarrels here, I feel like, you know, if you're, you may have people who are connected to, to you that don't want you to leave or move. Okay. But it seems to be the best choice for you. Now with wine here, there's a celebration happening in October and it could be during the full moon, which I'm not sure when the full moon is in October. I know September it's the 24th. Um, and again, this reading can be beginning now, which is September 19th. So it could possibly be on the 24th, a celebration you may get information or news about moving or finding a place buying a house uh, things of that nature and there's a celebration about this and also you have the coffin here so you want to be careful so you know too the co well, the coffin foretells acute illness or a loss of property, okay? So you actually might be celebrating no longer being where you're living. 
or you know having a housewarming party also acute illness doesn't necessarily i mean it's the coffin card it doesn't mean that you know that's it for you it just basically means that um if you're drinking too much <laughs> They're celebrating too much. You could experience some illness from that. So be careful in your celebration in October. The cat indicates flattery here. But it also, when it's connected to the number six card, it indicates personal injury. And so what that means is, for me, if you are drinking, don't get too drunk in your celebration. Be careful. You might, you know, break your ankle or something. <laughs> it's, such a, it, it's such a small predictive message. It's really not that deep. Um, but it's really important because, you know, the cat, when it represents flattery, it can also represent boastfulness and having too much of a good time and having too much fun and then not really uh, being careful with your steps you take or the things that you do while you're celebrating. So that's really a warning, not so much a prediction, but a warning. The tower is here. So this is great change as well. 10, 10, and 10. You have three tens. There's a lot of finale happening here. And this is definitely <laughs> changing something or changing. You're going to get some information about a major change, possibly having to do with physically moving or relocating for work, possibly on September 24th or the full moon in October or around that, when it's near that time. And there's also fortune coming to you. Small or large, it really doesn't say, but it is coming to you. <clears throat> and also this change here does include, it will come with those family quarrels, okay? Whatever this change may be, there is, there, I just feel like there's going to be some people who are opposed to you taking a step out or moving forward. You might also, too, in terms of love, um, be sending flowers to someone, especially if there is pregnancy involved. Um, or news of a birth. You may have people who are, you, I see a lot of flattery here. So I feel like that's, this is also surrounding you too. You might be receiving flowers from someone for something. Maybe you're going to have a child, you and your partner, and um, you receive flowers uh, for success and a long, happy life with the new baby also. And some of you are really just making yourselves look better lately, um, taking care of your yourselves physically, emotionally, mentally, and bringing on you're, you're receiving a lot of flattery for your physique and the way you've been looking and the things that you've been doing. Okay, so if this isn't pregnancy, you know, there is definitely um, a change happening. As far as moving, I feel like a lot of you are relocating. You may not be permanently moving. You may just be suddenly thrust. Some of you are in the military and you're being um, shipped or um, deployed also. And there's maybe a going away party the type of energy happening here. But do be careful with any type of drinking you might be doing or people around you who are drinking. They could have some type of an injury as well. 
Okay, I'm going to end your reading, and it was very short, mini and sweet. Um, and of course, it's just kind of to get to you for October, uh, at least now until October, until I'm able to get back to resuming my readings regularly. Um, so again, if you would like to purchase a reading for me, I'm, I, I won't be doing these readings. This is just, you know, for, Octo for October and the holiday and things like that. And um, it's just a special little treat for you guys. So again, if you would like to get a personal reading, just click on one of the links below and I will see you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.